All righty, we have discovered some pretty exciting news that could be potentially coming to Vaughn as a city. Vaughn has released an early Vaughn destination master plan that they are presenting in a meeting today, October 13th. So um, we got some details in here that I'm going to go over. Um, trying to get them organized right now to the best of my ability. I love how I always do this. But um, nonetheless, there's an important quote in one of the documents that we found, and that is from Dwayne McMalkin. I hope I'm not pronouncing that or butchering that. He is a marketing director at Canada's Wonderland, and he is quoted saying Canada's Wonderland... Oh, sorry. He is quoted saying that there is value in having the attractions industry on the board as opposed to an advisory committee. He added that in his experience sitting on a number of committees and boards, engagement from the members is greater in a board structure compared to advisory committees. So I thought that was interesting. Canada's Wonderland or someone from Canada's Wonderland is commenting on having actual attractions represent the city and their destination master plan. So I think we could see something come of that because a lot of this document talks about how Vaughn has this really big plan and kind of how they're going to go about it. They want to use some public funding, but also find companies like Canada's Wonderland, Legoland and Vaughn Mills to help um, co-run some of these attractions that they're planning, which brings me to a big portion of the video that I'm going to talk about near the end. But I definitely think Cedar Fair is going to be heavily involved in a couple of these projects. And I think it's pretty evident um, based off of some things. So the mission statement is to champion Vaughn as a premier tourist tourism destination through product development, marketing and education and strong collaboration with and support of operators. Um, what that is essentially saying, operators is someone like Canada's Wonderland, Legoland, and Vaughn Mills. Those are operators. So, for example, the best way to describe it, let's say Vaughn wanted to build a hotel or a sport facility or an indoor water park. They would seek out companies like Canada's Wonderland to manage them. They might co-fund them or completely fund them and just ask a company like Canada's Wonderland to manage them. Tourism assets and gaps, the existing tourism assets, not going to go over that, um, but tourism asset gaps is something that the city is focusing, adult focused entertainment, nightlife, sporting stadium, performance art center, convention center, transportation between assets. So a huge one on here that really captures my attention, especially when it comes to Cedar Fair, is the sporting stadium or sports park, which you're going to see in this presentation. Um, Cedar Fair specializes in that. Sports Force over in Ohio, um, the Cedar Point Sports Force. I think that Cedar Fair might or potentially could want to manage something like that for the town of Vaughn, depending on the direction they go with this sports facility. Um, I definitely think Cedar Fair might want to uh, co-manage that or manage it. it. It all depends on what the project ends up being. Again, these are early plans, but I definitely think anyone who has seen the presentations or been on the stockholders call, Cedar Fair is actively looking to develop adjacent land still, even after COVID or during COVID, I should say, still, um, develop adjacent land to some of their parks. And I think that Canada's Wonderland is still going to be one of those parks that you're going to see things coming along the way in terms of adjacent land development. And a lot of this in this plan that Vaughn has really captures my attention. The two that really capture my attention is the indoor water park and the sports village. I definitely think that Cedar Fair would be highly interested in running those. We know that Cedar Fair is or has recently purchased water parks like Schlitterbahn because it can be open year round in Texas. And I think an indoor water park in the Vaughn area might capture Cedar Fair's attention. And that is going to be a co-run project um, currently on the plan. So I think what that means based off of what I was reading is Vaughn um, is looking to invest in an indoor water park that will be open year round as described. And they're looking for a operator that could run and own the land. So again, that definitely has Cedar Fair written all over it. It could have other companies as well. Um, but the Sports Village is definitely something that I could see um, Cedar Fair having full intent to run and interest in because they have said that they do want to open up more. And Vaughn is definitely an area close to Toronto that Cedar Fair might see as a profitable opportunity. Again, I do want to stress that these are reaches. 
Um, but I think that anyone who has listened to a stockholders call from Cedar Fair or their events presentations um, slides on their website uh, knows that Cedar Fair is highly looking for um, and interested in sports villages and sports uh, complexes along with um, water parks. So I definitely see those two being a huge draw. You might look at the boutique hotel and assume that could be Cedar Fair. I am not going to go down that route. I don't think Cedar Fair is going to build a boutique hotel unless that is co-funded by the city. Um, and that might be why their old hotel project has stayed on hold. But that is an uh, extreme reach. I think the boutique hotel is actually going to end up being that hotel that is being planned actually near the park with the helipad on top and the glass look almost looking like a cruise ship. So I think that's what they mean. Uh, the first step of this plan, the boutique hotel is going to end up being that hotel, nothing to do with Cedar Fair. But who knows? Again, this is all a reach. So I mean, on none of this could be Cedar Fair. One thing could be Cedar Fair, uh, or all of it could be Cedar Fair. <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, I definitely think an indoor water park coming to Vaughn and the fact that Vaughn is interested in a year-round indoor water park is very promising because that is one of the things that I have constantly said is missing from the Toronto market. So one being so close to Toronto and in York Region could really benefit York Region and Toronto as a whole as an activity to do year-round. Canadians are always looking for something to do the fact that Vaughn is also highly interested in becoming a tourist destination and a tourism city is really beneficial to a park like Canada's Wonderland and maybe this is why Canada's Wonderland seems to be rapidly developing its park we see attention in Whitewater Canyon area action theater is on the list sometime soon uh, you have the Harmony Hall coming you have some sort of front gate markers appearing and now you have Kingswood um, getting removed this is a lot of attention and a lot of areas of kind of like interest for one international sorry one seasonal theme park it, it's a lot in one season that's going on currently so i definitely need to keep eyes open at canada's wonderland in terms of construction because there's a lot going on and i'm kind of curious as to where it's going to lead and now that this meeting has leaked a day early uh, about a meeting that's going to be, I guess, going on today when you watch this about the future of Vaughn. This is all really capturing my attention. Kingswood closing really aligns with this meeting and the hotel delay um, definitely has me interested as well. There's a couple things that have me kind of curious and I'm going to keep an eye on it and I'll keep you guys informed. So thank you so much for watching the video today. I just wanted to drop this bombshell news about Vaughn seeking an indoor water park and a sports village and how that correlates with Cedar Fair. Thanks so, for, blah, 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 blah. Thanks so much for watching my video today, guys. Hopefully you had an amazing Tuesday and hopefully you're having an amazing Wednesday. Stay strong. Keep swimming. You got this. We're almost at the weekend. Have a good one, guys. Bye.